basically what happens is uh, we'll present evidence here, evidence from the applicant, ask questions, hear from the protestants with regard to why the application shouldn't be granted. And uh, I take all of that information under advisement and draft up what's called a uh, findings of fact, conclusions of law, and a proposed order. She's conducting an administrative hearing about some uh, dispute on water rights in Oklahoma, and she's recording it. Basically, there are four elements that I have to uh, uh, receive information regarding. In to solve disputes, uh, you get the parties together and evidence is gathered and people have a chance to make their arguments. You know, just simply answering the question, who did this? And then uh, more importantly, or certainly equally important was why. I would not let his life or liberty or reputation or property be taken except by due process of law. And he said, when you ring that bell, your career in the military is over. And that was a started a downward spiral. Murder. The unlawful killing of another living, breathing human being. Or, as was the case on April 19, 1995, on a cool, crisp spring morning in downtown Oklahoma City, 168 living, breathing human beings. On this season of A Murderous Design, we'll study what may be the largest circumstantial evidence trial ever heard in an American courtroom, the United States of America versus Timothy James McVeigh. Join me as we piece together evidence collected from the crime scene in downtown Oklahoma City. Frankly, as I've often said, you know, the single best or the single most important piece of evidence in this case fell out of the sky. Some receipts. Uh, the best one, of course, was a ammonia nitrate receipt in the name of Mike Havens. A 1-800 number on a card. These are phone numbers that help us tell who was where. And evidence as given by those who allegedly conspired with McVeigh. Uh, because he could take us inside uh, to McVeigh's mind like no other witness could. We'll see how brave lawyers. I walked over to him, he stood up and uh, I said, Mr. McVeigh, my name is Stephen Jones. I'm a lawyer from Enid, Oklahoma, and I've been appointed to represent you. Deconstructed the government's case. The real defense that was built was the idea that there was a leg that was unidentified. And mounted Tim McVeigh's defense. Our experts testified that it was physically impossible. Based on the authentic trial transcripts and interviews with those who tried the case, we will uncover the author responsible for the formation and execution of a murderous design. I'm Brandon Birmingham. This is Timothy James McVeigh versus the USA.